Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Doug and I'm here to talk to you today about another uh, kind of baseball cap and that would be the offering from Ebbets Field Flannels. Um, I just took delivery on my first Ebbets Field cap recently and uh, wanted to share uh, some details and my experience of getting that. Um, now Ebbets Field Flannels is a company that really specializes in vintage reproductions of historical baseball caps. So uh, what you're going to find is they're true to a lot of the details of historical cap uh, construction. So um, the uh, details such as wool flannel uh, as the fabric for that. Um, they use a lot of things like uh, linen buckram instead of the stiff, stiff plasticized buckram that you see in modern baseball caps. And also just little details like using satin for the seam tape and maybe for the under visor as well. So I'll share with you uh, what I found on my cap. Um, but first, a couple other things about the company. Um, one of the great things about Ebbets Field is that all their products, which include not only ball caps, but jerseys, jackets, and maybe a few other things, everything that they make is made in the USA. So um, it's really a cool thing, especially in light of the fact that New Era has recently uh, announced plans to shut down their U.S. manufacturing of ball caps. Um, Ebbets Field is a nice alternative for made in the USA caps. Secondly, uh, the details are really faithful and there's a lot of premium in the construction. So good materials, good construction, handmade, um, made in the USA. So you will notice a difference in the price for the average Ebbets Field cap as compared to a standard New Era 5950. Right now they're running about uh, $34.99 for the 59.50, so 35 bucks US. And for an Ebbets Field flannel standard offer cap, these are $49.99. So they're about 50 bucks a cap, $15 more than your average 59.50. Um, so it's a premium price, but you definitely get a premium experience. And I'll share a little bit more about the cap that I got and why I think that's a pretty good value about what you get. When you get one of these caps, one of the things that I found was the packaging, graphics, labels, tags, everything has been carefully thought through uh, for the experience of buying this cap. You open the box, which has got a great logo. You've got it packed in some nice paper that is very historical and vintage feeling. So the experience um, is really cool. They've put a lot of thought into this and uh, some of the tags and labels and things like that carry that theme through this vintage ball cap experience. So um, really well done. I would say that uh, when I took this out of the box, I was pretty impressed with the presentation. And there was even a nice uh, paper printed catalog in there that had a lot of good photography of the other products they offer. So pretty impressive right out of the box. And then um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the cap details, which are even nicer. All right, so the cap that I opted for is right here, this New York Knights cap. Now this is a fictional team, of course. The New York Knights were the team uh, featured in the 1984 film, The Natural, uh, which starred Robert Redford. And, um, you know, this is a reproduction of that movie cap by Ebbets Field Flannels, but I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, like the colors, the navy, the orange, and the white. I thought uh, made the logo look pretty nice. So this is the one I opted for. Quick note, I did go for um, a 7 and 5 eighths. So that's a 1 eighth size larger than my normal 7 and a half size. Um, one of the reasons for that is you can see it's a little bit shorter crown um, and it's a little bit more compliant. So wanted to um, definitely uh, give myself a little bit more room and try and drive for a little bit more relaxed, com comfortable feel. And I'll try it on for you here shortly. This will give you a sense for maybe the crown height and uh, where that sits on my head. Very compliant here. Um, I have not curved the visor yet, but I'll probably put a subtle curve on it just about like that. And the fit is pretty good. It seems pretty true to size. I've got a little bit extra room compared to my normal seven and a half. That's kind of where I wanted this cap. So. So taking a look at some of the exterior details of the cap, um, you'll notice here first that this uh, New York Knights is actually a stitched on 
felt emblem. So it's a dual layer felt emblem that's die cut um, or cut out to form the New York, the NY letters, um, and then that's stitched onto the cap. So it's not a full embroidered logo, although a number of Ebbetsfield caps do have embroidered logos. Um, as you spin around the outside of the cap, I've still got the tag affixed here. Um, haven't curved the visor yet or prepped it yet. Um, but you'll notice there's no other logos or emblems or details around the cap. So it's just a bare bones, minimal cap. The only uh, icon you get here is on the front of the cap, which I kind of like. So if you go to the inside of the cap, uh, the first, one of the first things you'll notice is that green undervisor, kind of the classic undervisor color, satin undervisor cover in green, and then satin seam tape um, on the inside of the cap to cover those seams between the six panels of the cap. So pretty nice details. There's some other labels uh, right at the back, of course, with the Ebbetsfield logo, uh, manufacturing information, and then there's a, just a simple size label on the inside of the cap as well. So uh, really uh, just a lot of great details on the cap. I am actually going to curve the visor. Uh, take a look at this and uh, I'll try it on for you again once I get the visor curved then uh, we'll get some final thoughts in. All right, so here we are. Um, put a little bit of a subtle curve on the visor right here. Um, I really just did that by hand. I actually uh, held it in place with some gloves on over the teapot. You can see um, here that uh, it does more or less conform to my head. The softness of the linen uh, buckram up front allows these panels to bend a little bit and curl in and shape a little bit to my head. Um, but it is an old school ball cap, and uh, I'm still really impressed with the way the felt and the flannel feels on my head. It's a really comfortable cap. I think I did uh, the right, made the right call um, by going for the 7 and 5 8 size because it does feel very comfortable. Um, it's not as structured as, say, a modern uh, 5950 or anything like that. So it just feels, feels right. So quick addition to the review. This photo shows the cap about 24 hours after I had curved the visor. So you can see it does not retain the curve very well. Doesn't seem to be as resilient as a uh, modern baseball cap. And uh, if you want to wear an Ebbets Field cap and have a curved visor, it appears that you'll have to work it by hand a little bit every time you wear it. So uh, just get ready for that. Overall, I've been really impressed with the cap. Again, the premium materials, the attention to detail, uh, and the experience of buying this cap. Uh, I think it can justify a little bit of the extra dollars um, uh, if you do it every once in a while. I mean, I'm probably not going to collect these at $50 each. Um, I can't buy that many of them, but the experience has been well worth it, and I'm sure I'm going to buy more Abbott's Field caps in the future. So um, really cool experience. Um, hopefully you got uh, something out of watching that. Again, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.